I'm just kidding. There's no clapper in here. <laughs> Good morning, people. Hope my hair doesn't look too bad. So I think uh, today we're going to the city. I have to get my mail and the RV show is going on. So I'm going to take you along for that. We'll go check that stuff out. If you're hoping for a camping video this weekend, uh, maybe tonight. Well, every night for me is camping, I guess. <laughs> so the camper show I'm going to is uh, the Edmonton RV show. By the time you watch this, it will have passed. But uh, yeah, it's one of the biggest ones in, uh, I think, uh, Alberta. It should be good. Hopefully they have lots of truck campers. Uh, I'm always hopeful for that. A lot of times though, they'll have like maybe 10. Okay, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. I'm just gonna make some breakfast and coffee. By the way, to anyone wondering, these pool noodles solve my issue. I have no moisture under the bed. It's currently minus 16 outside. And by all means, there should be moisture under the bed. There's nothing. So that is freaking awesome. I am gonna say I did have a moment of weakness and looked up what the Frawley system would cost me if I wanted to. And it's over $530 for the system. So I really think I'm just going to leave this and uh, I might just cut these in half and make it a little bit lower. But as of right now, I have no moisture issues, which is awesome. I have been editing all morning and I think it's time that I go start the engine preheater. We get this day started. I haven't used this in a while actually, so I guess we'll see if it's working still. <laughs> By all means, it should be. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit tired, actually. I think it's because I've been staring at a computer screen all morning, so. <sighs> all right, truck's running. We are just about ready to go. Uh, all that warm up, get the fluids moving in her. And then, uh, yeah, we'll take off and I'm gonna go to the gym first and uh, get a little run in and then shower. All right, the hair's washed. I got my trail mix. This is the best deal in Canada right now. It's $5.50 for this bag. That's like the only deal in Canada right now. All right, let's get going. Hey guys, so we're about, oh, I'd say 20 minutes from Edmonton, but, uh, I have to stop in Stony Plain because that's where my mailbox is. I actually don't, so the town I live in actually doesn't have a UPS or anything like that. So I could actually get a physical address. So I ended up having to, the closest one was Stony Plain, which isn't too far away. It's just a bit of a drive now. And for the most part, all I needed it for was to uh, just have an address. I don't really get much shipped there. After that, uh, head to the RV show and yeah, look at some stuff.
do these fancy bands. They like you still have to build your bed every night, just about, unless you just want to leave it built. find home that's for sure i just got back from inside the rv show um honestly it was okay uh not much for truck campers really mostly just uh well trailers a few vans there and uh wow i'm gonna say they have come down in price a bit because last year it was like the starting the lowest price i seen for like a four by four Mercedes van like that was like 220,000 somewhere like that I just I seen one for like 199 now so that's good as for truck campers they had a Lance 650 which was nice just a little guy and then they also had uh, a Northern Light 10-2 and a 811 and both of those were really good I didn't get much filming I'm sorry um that's my fault. I'm not so used to uh, pulling out the camera and start filming around people. So I have a little bit of footage that I probably put in a B-roll already. But yeah, I didn't go too crazy with the filming. It was fun though. It was a nice thing to do for the day. I needed to come up here anyways to go and get my uh, mail. So that was really good. And uh, yeah, didn't mind it at all. I think I'm just gonna head back and tonight on the menu is chili. So that should be fun to cook. I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Okay, let's get out of this crazy place. Nice thing about having your home with you. Just make a coffee before you leave anywhere. guys can tell but uh, I don't really like uh, spending too much time in the cities uh, I like the amenities and everything and for a long time there I actually did want to live in a city but I don't know what happened but it's, it's just the traffic and everything it's really loud all the time all right and we're back I think I'm going to go for a walk I feel like I need a walk. There's a lot of driving today. It's good to walk after a lot of driving. But okay, let's go do that. It feels like it's getting dark really early. It's kind of weird. Well, this has been an extended walk. <laughs> I like walking through here. This is nice, actually. This is actually usually a snowmobile trail in the winter, but we don't have enough snow, so yeah. I'm almost done my walk. I'm on the final stretch here. It is getting quite a bit darker. The sun's almost fully set. This walk's been over I think it's gonna be an hour and a half walk, so good walk. There's one thing about this channel when I started it, uh, a big, a big thing to me was elaborate on the how much easier life is just being debt free, and uh, that's part of the reason why. Like, I chose to live in a truck camper. Is the number of uh, municipalities, uh, townships, uh, banks, and what other utility companies asking me for money every month and me just having to fork it over has went to uh, zero. 
Whoa, sorry, it's really icy here. We're on a glacier right now. What I'm trying to say is that I didn't feel like I was getting my money's worth out of uh, paying a mortgage and living in, in a house in a town that I didn't want to be in. Woo! That was a walk. Wow. Okay, let's pack up and uh, head to where we're camping because, uh, yeah, it's that time now. I messed up. I'll make chili next time, but tonight we're having tacos. I thought I had taco, or I thought I had chili packets. I only have taco packets. I have a lot of taco packets. Either way, I'm happy to have tacos because I was really craving tacos too. So we're having tacos. Yay. I make those a lot. We're going to do it again, but we're going to do it a fun way. I put jalapenos in it. I guess that's just a normal way, but yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. If I didn't cook tacos at least once a week, I'd be shocked. I have a problem, a taco problem. I don't plan on addressing it at all. Oh, I think I spend just about I don't know, every weekend. I'm just like, I'm wishing I could have went farther. I'm wishing I could have just kept driving. I wonder if Fernie misses me too. I miss Fernie. If you don't know why I'm talking about Fernie, check out my other videos. I had an awesome, awesome snowboarding session there. Oh, so good. I'm just watching the forecast right now, but uh, as soon as I see that Whistler's getting snow, uh, I'm going to do a week-long trip up to there. All right, time to add some controversy. Just let that stew for a while. These look good. I'm gonna eat now. I think I'm just gonna have a chill night. Maybe finish editing this video. Maybe fall asleep. I don't know. All I know is I'm tired. It's nice and cozy in here. I'm going to talk to you guys tomorrow morning, okay? I'll see you then. You guys want to see something weird? So, last night, I woke up at midnight and it was minus 2. And now it's minus 13. I don't think the weather knows what it wants to do. So I think today's plan is just, uh, I have some maintenance to do on the truck. And then I gotta finish editing a video and probably go work out again. Cause yeah, not a lot else going on. Uh, I kind of wish we could have went somewhere this weekend, but I needed to go to Edmonton so I could get uh, my mail and I wanted to go to the RV show. So slower weekend, but maybe we'll talk about something and uh, that should be good.
It's a bit chilly out today. Holy smokes. Oh, and she's just warming up here. Let's see. 60 degrees Celsius, that's good enough. Like nothing. I'll just turn this off. And see, just like that. My truck doesn't hate me because I had the cold started. chill out here for a little bit but I think I'm gonna go for my run and get my shower in now I think I need a haircut honestly Whew. that was a good run I don't know if you guys care at all but uh, if you haven't noticed just what every one of these videos I talk about going to the gym just about every day um, or going out on a walk or anything like that like I used to not be like that a very long time ago I was very very uh home -bodied. I wouldn't say that I had anything against the gym but uh it was definitely not part of my life like it is now and I think that's probably going to be the hardest thing about uh this lifestyle is once I leave here is trying to actually upkeep with uh, exercise and constantly getting out. Recently, probably in the last year, I just got into doing a lot more running and everything. And I think eventually I want to try to do a marathon, but uh, we'll see. It's uh, right now I can, I can comfortably do about 15 kilometers. At that point, uh, like I'm pretty sore, but I could probably push through and get another 15 easily. Come summer, I'm gonna start training more for that. And uh, well, come come spring, I'm gonna start training more for that and uh, trying to get my uh, distance up and see if I can get to about, uh, like if I could get to 30 kilometers, I'd be super happy. I think I'm going to make some lunch and then uh, probably go park somewhere. The snowing conditions so far don't look great for Whistler for next week, so I guess uh, I'll probably just stay here for, yeah. The long weekend is next weekend too though, so I think I'm going to take Friday off no matter what, and we'll go adventure out to somewhere, like might as well, right? You know, when I bought this camper, I didn't think that I would actually have running water. I thought people were kind of crazy to be running water in the middle of winter in a RV because I didn't think it would be, it'd be so much work to actually try to keep them from uh, not freezing up and everything like that. In reality, like you think about it, all the water lines for the camper in here are basically, other than one is, I'll show you. So all in all, like, my water lines for all the camper this is the only part where it's like in the basement kind of and there's actually a heat duct that basically dumps like well just below my feet right here and it just goes in there and then the gray tank is like right here and then the black tank will be in the back corner under the toilet the rest of the water lines basically run along just through here. Sorry, things open because I'm doing dishes. The rest of the water lines just run through here and then into the bathroom basically and stuff. So when you think about it, the water lines aren't actually like at the very bottom of the camper where there's no 
where the least heat would be because heat rises. So the basement's getting flooded with heat and then uh, it's uh, rising up and coming into in behind the cabinets and everything like that. And then I got these fans here too that are helping it. But just like simple things like that, like you could make just about, if you're, if you have a camper with a decent insulation in it, I guarantee you can make it uh, four seasons if you put your mind to it. And the best way to test that would be get your thermometers, uh, put them all in the spots that you think would be farthest away from getting actual heat and where lines are, and then turn the furnace on for the day and then see how far the temperature drops in those spots. If it stays above zero degrees Celsius, you'll be good. I have spots in here that uh, they would only stay about. The one spot there at the very far left corner in the basement, the coldest it I've seen it get was in minus 30 now, it gets to like, I think maybe five degrees Celsius, which is fine. They don't, everything will stay. Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna actually go dump the tanks now and maybe give the truck a wash too. I don't know how much more of this video I'm gonna keep going on, but uh, yeah, it's been a good day. Well guys, the truck's all washed up and filled with water. I think it's a good time to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry we didn't do more this weekend, but next weekend will be a lot more eventful. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.